On the Lord hath hero hat, Nick. On the Lord hath hero hat, Nick, Nick. On the Ricky Ticky Low, while living number one, Nickelodeon. Hey everyone, Retro Freak 84 here. So, here I am from my new location in New Brunswick, New Jersey at Rutgers University. Yeah, it looks different, but hey, who cares? So I'm making this video because Matthew Clickstein, the author of Slimed, an oral history of Nickelodeon's Golden Age, which was just released in the stores, asked people to make videos about their favorite Nickelodeon memories. Well, you know, classic Nickelodeon. And me only being the age of 600, I was not necessarily around for the majority of Classic Nick's age, but I have a long, long history with Classic Nickelodeon because I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I've, you know, collected tapes, etc., etc., gone on YouTube, all that crap. So, I know a decent amount about this. And, my favorite Classic Nick memory has to be when I discovered the show The Adventures of Pete and Pete. I actually got the DVDs right here. But yeah, Discovering Pete and Pete uh, was back when they released it on the Nick Rewind Collection in 2005. I heard about this old show, well, you know, old for my standards because I'm only 18, called The Adventures of Pete and Pete, and, you know, they were releasing it on DVD along with Clarissa Explains It All, so I, you know, I begged my parents, we got it off Amazon, I got it for a present, and I ran through the series so quickly because it was such a great show, and the fact that season three was never released because of Viacom is really shitty. But... Just watching those episodes at that age, you know, 9, 10, 11, and just seeing how great the show was, you know, the writing, the direction, the music, of course, you know, Polaris, Mark Mulcahy, shout out to him. Uh, it just really changed my view on TV and that Nickelodeon could make shows back then, aside from Dan Schneider shows, you know, that had more of an adult theme to them and, you know, no laugh track. It was just a great show to watch and it's still one of my favorite shows of all time to this day. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite Nick memories ever. I mean, aside from visiting Nick Studios in 2002 when it was in its, you know, depressing age, and, you know, going back to the building many times, that would, the Pete and Pete memories were definitely the best ones, and they continue to this day. So, that's that. And this Friday will be the launch event for Matthew Clickstein's Slimed, an oral history of Nickelodeon's Golden Age at the 92 Street Y in uh, New York City. And I'm going to be at that. A bunch of other great old Nick celebs, Mark Summers, you know, there's going to be a lot of great people there. And I'm so fortunate to have gotten tickets to this. And I thank you, Matthew uh, Clickstein, for writing this book because I look forward to reading it. And thank you for bringing all of this together. Friday is going to be great. Let's live out classic Nick, you know. Shout out to Pete and Pete. Um, yeah, okay. So, Nickelodeon. Uh, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Nick Elodian. See ya. Can I sit next to you? Goodbye. Can I sit next to you girl? Goodbye.